Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of, of Minecraft on the United Server. One day I'll get that right. One day. Um, I've been busy, actually, so I haven't been able to record, but I've been able to play. So I've just kind of done some really boring, grindy work and dug this out. Now, this is actually a quad slime farm, and there's another chunk that's either there or there. It's like a zoop 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 shape. I can't remember which one. I think it might be there. Like it goes to there. But um I should probably dig that out as well actually think. Yeah, I've only lit that up so if that's the the slime chunk then they could spawn in those caves there. But yeah, so I've dug it all up. I've made it. I've put all the floor together. I'm still about to do the walls and stuff and maybe the roof but i've been caving to kind of yeah improve the mob rates in here and i've got so many goodies look at this i got like a, a stack of half of gold almost half it was in a mine shaft so i got some cobwebs because you only need shears um there are like two zombie spawners so we got some discs other oh yeah they're the same one Six golden apples. Check this out. Like 33 lapis blocks. Second of half of diamonds. Five name tags. It's insane. It was just crazy amount of good stuff. Of good goodies. So we are going to just head on back. I'll show you kind of whereabouts we are. Let me just... Just doing another double check, I guess. I'm pretty sure that this mine shaft actually connects to Avalonians. So, because he's not... This is pretty close to spawn. It's not the closest, but it's not overly far. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Um, oh, so, spawns this way. I could just keep jumping, jumping, jumping. I know that we just did, like, an Enderman farm and a Guardian farm. Like last episode, so we're not going to be too focused on farming this episode. I just kind of wanted to show you what I was up to. I hope I went the right way. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. This is what I want to see. This is like the farming area of spawn. So we're going to go up the farming area. We're supposed to have like the shops area kind of thing. But we haven't really been building that many shops. Oh yeah. Ahos is on as well. We're just trying to he's trying to sort out his OBS, which is cool. So yeah, this is our farm. You've been through spawn. Well, I've been through spawn. I've kind of showed you what's been going on. Ahos actually finished it, so which is cool. I'll just quickly show you. He did this mad statue. I think I'm facing... I'm not at a good angle to see it. You've got to be like around here. Let's just go around here. Okay. I'm at, like, the worst angle. I'm looking at its butt. Here we go. See? And there's his little head, and he's holding a flag. And it just looks so cool. I like that he's, like, even gone with the brick and the sandstone. Like, they're things that I don't typically build with, because I'm not the greatest builder in the world, and I don't know how to, you know, make it all pretty like that. So he's done good. Let's just have a quick look. While we're here... We'll just walk. Walk and chat. It's the way to go. About gonna drop the goodies at home before I die. And I would really oh, I'd love the chance to enchant. Because I have 33 levels. That's how many like good stuff that I dug out. I'm so excited. Oh I fixed I finally did this. It's not that pretty under there yet, but I got rid of that. I'm kind of faced with the same problem that I had as to why I had to make like the nether brick really thick is that there's lava just above there so I'm only given this and my plan was to like have it come through this kind of thing but you can't stick ladders on soul sand which is super weird but it kind of makes sense because I think soul, uh, soul sand is a slightly shorter block that's why you can't like have soul sand here and then just walk up onto a slab. Oh, and a ghast made itself at home. It was quite rude, if you ask me. So I'll have to fix that up again. I'm forever fixing that up. I really need to enclose it. 
that's hurting me. Um, I got rid of the chicken farm. Because, oh no. Yeah, I got rid of the chicken farm because it just wasn't, wasn't working out that hot. It was not. I, um, head on down here. Now, I've been doing so much stuff. I got, like, a ton more sand and glass. Like, I got a whole inventory full and then I just chucked her in my smelter here. I um, might chuck in this one because I think that's got a bit more fuel in it. Well, it does, but not much more. Um, let's get some... Let's get this happening. Bum, bum, bum. And bum, bum, bum. Look at that. Another ten stacks of... Ten stacks. Ten blocks of diamond. Because it's been a bit sad because since Jody like, gave me a lot of diamond, I've kind of been of the mindset, oh, like, oh, yeah. Have a diamond block for all your help. I'm not a very good saver when it comes to diamonds and stuff. And I should should be better. Actually, do we have aqua affinity? Yeah, we do. I know people say it's a use, like useless enchant, but I really, really enjoy it. Alright, check it. Look at this thing from the side. It looks so creepy. So, for those who don't know what this is, which none of you will because the original footage that I had filmed explaining what this is, the audio file corrupted, so I thought I'd just give, a, give you a little spin at what it is. Basically, it's a chicken. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Every time. I need to look left. Like Zoolander. I think he can't turn right or something, but he goes like, to go that way, or like, Man, that's so annoying. Anyway, this book here, this book, this shop, it's called The Cheap Shop. Cheap, cheap. Um, but yeah, this alarm chicken is laying an egg. It's kind of the whole bird theme. Cheap thing. Um, Addictive G had put a nest, er, like, around it. But I wasn't too fond of the nest. So I took it down. Sorry, Jody. It just wasn't what I was after. But this is supposed to be like the yolk and stuff. But yeah, basically what it is, it's kind of... Here, let's get this fella out. Cheap shop. Cheap shop. The cheap shop is the one place to find items for super cheap. Currently, we have a stack of gravel for any amount of string and a stack of enderpearls for any amount of rotten flesh. These specials are likely to change. Likely to change. Oh, that's supposed to be so. Keep checking in. As this is the grand opening, there is also a limited time only special, so make sure to check it out. So I went around and put this at all of the Uniteds, all of the Uniteds or whatever, uh, bases kind of thing, just to let them know that we have our shop and it's open and running. I don't think. I think this is the first shop that's actually got, like, stuff in it. We've got Unholy's log thing there, but you kind of have to place an order. It's really... I don't know how to go about it. I think he's... I think he mentioned something like messaging him on Skype. But that's no fun. Um, so yeah. We, we've got a stack of gravel for any amount of string. I've only got two stacks of gravel. Oh, I lied. Three. <laughs> I meant to come and bring that. So, yeah. I just need string, so I don't care if it's one string for a stack, or if it's like a stack of string for a stack of gravel, like, whichever works. This one's a diamond block for infinity book or bow, so there's this one. I was at the Enderman farm, like, farming away for ages and ages, and I just wasn't getting infinity. I got power five, I think it was power four before, punch one and flame, so... I need an affinity because I keep running out of arrows and it's like I go to shoot but nothing happens. And this is ender pearls for any amount of rotten flesh. So, oh yes! Ugh, look at that! We've already got some cells. I'll take that. That's actually really handy. Now, I like to make these like this, like this. Maybe like that. I don't know. But yeah, I was going to go to the end and get some more. Awesome. I wanted rotten flesh because I like to trade with the villagers. So, oh, damn it. Check that there and fill this up. 
Yeah, so, and I like to get, like, Emerald Acquisition, basically. And also because I had, there was a villager around with an Infinity Book, and I was saving Emeralds up for ages, and then I couldn't find him. I think we lost him. So, I was hoping to breed some up and get some that way. But yeah, so these are likely to change, like, while stocks last kind of thing. So, I've only got three... Three bits of gravel, stacks of gravel there, so I'll change it when, you know, when that happens, I'll just flip it. I think I've got quite a large number of heads at my base, so I could sell some heads for whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go get some more dirt to patch that up, and then I have another project in mind. Alright, so the project that I had in mind was a base beautification project, and it's basically just tidying up this area. So I don't want all these torches here. I want like redstone lamps or glowstone hidden under leaves and things like that. So that will come, but we're just going to start for now. I'm just going to... I don't know how well this endstone is going to look. I think it's... I think it might be better like few and far between. Alright, so after this little cut for the pathing, I think that we need... A bit more birch maybe which I'll add in maybe a bit later I can make that a bit thicker this needs to be a bit more all over the place but we're heading towards that base and I haven't done this one yet because what I want is for that to kind of go if I can hold on I might try and build it here one two three four five I think one two three one two three Maybe that's just a tad bit too tall. That looks better. Okay. I'll show you what I have in mind. Just a second and... Four. Okay. So, I'm thinking... That we... Wait, I want a trapdoor there. Oh, that's going to be annoying. That's... Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, um, in 1.9, you don't need to have them attached to blocks anymore. Just add them. Have to add it next to that. Good thing they all look the same, huh? It's... Ah! This is why, this is why I do cuts. Actually, the reason why I haven't cut this, like this part, is because I wanted to chat to you guys. About, about basically this video and my channel and Minecraft and United and, you know, just a chat. So, my idea was that, as you can see with this video, I had, I dug out like three slime chunks, I lit up all the caves around it, I built a shop, and now I'm, like, decorating this farm. It's a lot in one episode, basically, and the last video I uploaded was well over a week ago now, so what I'm wondering, besides whether or not I can shovel, is if it would be better if I were to kind of stay and chat a little bit longer. Because I, as you can tell watching this, I really struggle with it. But I, I imagine the more I do it, the better I'd get. You know, practice makes perfect and things like that. So, would that be something you would be interested in? It'd just be a little bit more chatty. A I probably didn't need to do that, but I did. Yeah, just a, a little bit more of me trying to explain what I'm doing instead of going ahead and doing it and then explaining afterwards. I'll try and explain kind of before, like, yeah, like I said, <laughs> right when I'm doing it, this is so difficult. Um, to put that into practice right now, this is going to be like a archway or an awning or whatever. That's, And then you come through, and I want, I want to get rid of this pond, basically. Um, might even do that now. I don't, I think, what level do I want to, I think I want to add this level here. 
So this sand will need to go, that wheat will need to go, I need to go out of this pond. So, and I kind of want to make this like a huge decorative garden. And I want lighting to be pretty and hidden and just things like that. I might make the floor a bit more leafy. So just do these ones. Do I have any? I might make this dirt. I went and got all the gravel there because of the gravel shop and how pitiful that was that it was only three. Three, like, stacks of gravel. Plus I also wanted to make some paths this episode. Man, I'm running out of, like, space in my inventory. My inventory management is super poor. No matter what you say, it's super poor. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking this dog needs to move. I'm thinking maybe I should have put down a chest, which is ridiculous because my base, like, all my chests are just down underground there. But I don't want to have to go underground every time I want a chest. There we go. My idea with this is we can, yeah, that's a cobble. I'll just take that out a bit. It's a bit silly because now I have to build this up more. Is to kind of create a bit of a retaining wall. You will so. Yeah. Oh, I want cobble. So. coming night. So kind of like that, I think maybe. But I don't know then if I have to section all of that off or what for it to not look super stupid. Um, let's try this. And basically, just fill rid of all this grass. Just to place more grass, it's the weirdest thing. Fill all that in. Oh, trying to make this interesting, I am. And then, do I have any bone meals on me? No. Bone meals, bone meal. But we could just, like, do things like that so when you come down here you can still see. Maybe we can even have, like, a water feature. You know? I'm not too... I'm not too positive how I want to go about that. You can sit now, dog. And then I want... If I can get... I want, like, a massive tree. Like, there I'm talking, like, so big, like... Got trunks going everywhere, like... The trunk is just huge. This is how big I want the tree, you know? Just make that along. Out. And it's trying to grow on sand. Makes up and out. It's like a massive, massive tree here. So there's no question that, like, yeah, uh, there's no question that there's a divide in the path. So one goes that way to the house, and this way goes to the really pretty garden. And this is all going to be just pretty garden. If you. If that makes sense. That's what that's what I want. I don't know if here is where I'll have a retaining wall. I just know that I want one. How, how silly is that? Um, that there's another perfect candidate right there for a retaining wall. Or here. For a retaining wall, sort of. I think there's our best bet for one to make it look. To make it look pretty. Because we don't need to access that. Because that farm will be accessible by a tunnel, eventually. Yet another one of the many projects I've got in mind. So that's kind of my idea. And I want to try and talk through them as much as possible. So, that if you want. Like, I want to give you guys more content. It's the most watched series on my channel. So obviously this is what you guys want to see. And I'm not sure if it's me you want to see or if it's the Minecraft content that I'm regurgitating out. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me know. Like, flick me a comment. I love to read them and I reply to them all. 
So yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I will probably do some off-camera work for this. I don't want to do every single little grindy bit. Not that this is grindy, but I don't want to do everything like that on camera. I would like to keep the most interesting parts in the video. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. And I'll get back to you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.